Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So uh, in this video, let's see like we in the last video, we saw how we can automate this post API and we uh, we did the assert like assert that and status code is 201. So in this video, let's do some modification here. So here in the body, we are providing this uh, JSON, right? So sometimes this JSON can be like, you know, very big and it may not look good. So what we can do, we can put this in some different file. So for that, what we can do, um so i will create one package here okay so let's create one package and i you can give any name like you know, files or you can say uh something whatever you want so we can say files and inside this let's create one uh you know java file new class and this is payload P -A -Y. we will keep our payload here in this class file okay so finish now how we can do this so we created it just uh, you know you add one method here okay so you can add as many methods as you want in this class so we can say okay public static we, we are saying static maybe we don't want to create this uh, object of this class so we can static so we can you know use this method without the uh, object of the class so static static and then this will return some string and then you know add user so suppose this is the name of our uh, method okay So here we will say, you know, S E R I N G string P A Y L O D -E string payload T U B return payload. Okay, so we are returning this payload. So now it should be fine. Uh, let's see what is the problem. Okay, so since we have not initialized, we can initialize it here. Let's say payload is equal to, okay, and for now, just say like this. Okay. Now, inside this, since this is a string, we want to return a string. So, let's put our payload here. So, we can copy our pull payload from here. Just copy it from here, okay. So, this is our payload. Just copy it from here to here and we can put it here in this okay i think we can remove one braces from here we don't need that so now it's good so we are returning our payload from this class so now what we can do here so instead of this now we'll say payload p a y l o a d payload dot add user so we got the payload so now it's looking a little bit you know simple so now we this is one change that we have made here now let's see what other changes we can do so friends here right we are doing uh you know assert that so sometime sometime you may need to store this json the response json into a variable so that you can do some further validations so for that what we can do that so that's same what we will do is like okay dot txt dot extract is extract is the method which we can use to extract okay and then we can say what we want to extract response and we want to extract is as a string because this is a json now we want to change it to as string right so as string so now let's store it in some string variable string string response so this way we can store the json response that we are getting from our request to whatever it is a post api or whatever api so we can store it in the string for some further validations now since you know uh in our response if you go let me open the uh, let me open this post man
And here, let's see. So this is a create user we have here, right? When you send this request, you got a response name, job ID, right? So sometimes this is a very simple JSON response, right? But sometimes it can be very complex, like you have uh, this name inside something, something like that. So it will be a little bit complex. We'll see that example. If you want to see that, we can just see it here, right? We have, uh, we can go to this uh, free REST API for testing. And here we have that website from where we can take the uh, APIs for you know, for learning. So this is the website here, reqres.in. So if you go here, these are the APIs. So maybe some APIs, if you see this one, or if you see this one, okay, this is not found. So maybe this one. Yeah, so see, this is a little bit complex because you have page and now this ID and name you have inside the data. So now here in our program, in our code, we are storing it as a string. So if you want to fetch the data from that string, it may be a little bit difficult, right? So for that purpose, we can use the JSON path. So let's see how we can use that and then I will explain it further. So we can use the object of JSON path. JSON, JSON path, you can say JS is equal to new JSON. So this is the, we created the object of JSON path. Now let's first resolve this error. Okay. So it is not giving us the option for the JSON path, right? So mm, let's see. Spelling is correct. J A. Excuse me. Okay, friend. So here actually we made the mistake. The spelling it should be JSON J S O N. There should be A should not be there. So that was the mistake. Now if you go here, so it's giving option to import this JSON path. So just import it, and then it is add argument. So you have to add argument like path or some string. So since we have our response in the string, we will pass that string here. So we have it in the response. So this will make things very easy. You will see how. So now we got our response in the JSON path object JS. Now, suppose you want to retrieve, suppose in this, right, you want to retrieve name. So it will be very easy. What you can say? You can say like JS dot get JS dot get string path, right? So let's use this. So um, we can say whatever is here, right? So we can say name, just copy it here. So we got this. Now we can store it in the some variable like suppose as str string name is this. Now let's execute this. Okay. So here, if you want to make some changes, like suppose name is this, maybe this time you can make some changes and you can say Morpheus one or any name, like you can say, say Brian, B R I A N Brian, anything. Okay. And now if I execute, let's see what will happen. So run as the unit test. Great. So now if you see, let's see what happened. So this is the request log all because we have used the log all, right? And then it is saying some bad request. Okay. Let's see. An illegal reflective Excel operation has occurred. So let's see what, what is the problem now. Just give me a second, friends. Okay, friends. So actually, you know, if you see here in the left side, failure trace, right? It's saying the expected status, status is 201, but it was 400. So I think we forgot to remove it. Okay, so we are getting 400. So if you go here in this, we are getting 201 here. So this is fine. Let me see what is going. Why it is 400? Okay, let's see. If I say 400, something is serious. Time. Let's run it. Okay, so still it's failing. So just give me a second. 
ओके फ्रेंड्स सो देर वे टू मिस्टेक्स दैट वी डिड सो फर्स्ट वन इफ यू सी दिस पेल ओड राइट एक्चुअली आई हैड सम मिस्टेक्स हियर द वे आई कॉपी इट सो व्हाट यू कैन डू इफ यू आर गेटिंग दैट इशू जस्ट डिलीट एवरीथिंग लाइक जस्ट कॉपी इट हियर जस्ट डिलीट एवरीथिंग एंड गो टू द पोस्टमैन एंड कॉपी दिस अगेन फ्रॉम हियर जस्ट लाइक दिस कंट्रोल सी एंड paste it here again so if there is a mistake in this payload structure if you see now i have single slash but because of some problem since i i did not copy from postman so there there was some problem so this is the first thing and since we change the name here right brian so we are i am we want to create a new user name with the brian so we have to change in our uh, here also right in the body where we want to verify so i just made this change now and that's it and then what i'm doing i'm just converting my response in the string and then using json path i am just you know staring in the js object json path object and then it's like i want to get name i can just say like js dot get string name okay and then i'm doing just system dot out dot println so suppose here right we are we are uh, in the log all we are doing all the log for the request and then also we are doing for the response so suppose we want, we are not doing this for response now so we can just remove it for now Let's see like this. So now, if you execute this test, so everything is passed, everything is passing, and then if you see, it is able to retrieve the value of Brian. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show here, and then next uh, we can cover one more thing in this video, maybe. Okay, so let's see what we can else we can do here. Just give me a second, friends. okay so now suppose we got this name now we want to use this name to update something right we have a put also if you go and see here we have a put so put put means you want to update something so suppose the name is this morpheus or something and then you want to update the name or job or something you can use this put and this is the format you can do so again we have to write the given log everything for that and we will we will use the name that we got from the earlier post here okay so let's do that so what i will do given dot if you want to log everything you can just say log dot all but if you don't want you can just uh, remove it it's not required and then after that if you have any query parameter so let's do this first here in this okay in the postman suppose here we will create one put okay so let's say put and what we want to update suppose we want to update let's take this from here so this is the uh, you know url here this is the url uri you can say and then you have to add the resource so resource is this api users 2 okay API class users slash two. Okay. So instead of two, since we have created the user, suppose we want to update four four two or something like that, or you know, when you say this, we are getting the ID. So if you want to retrieve the ID here, you can retrieve the ID also. You know, instead of name, you can say ID. So anything. just we suppose whatever uh, the thing we want to understand is like okay whatever we are getting here using that we want to update something in that okay so given dot log dot all dot query parameter it's a query parameter or it's a path parameter let's see that so since we are saying like this so this is a okay we we don't need parameter here i think because if you go to this parameters here there is no parameter in this so you know you can just execute if you execute this you just need a body for that okay so let's do this first manually so what body we want this body the body we can say draw and then you have to say like json and then you have to just paste it okay so here let's see we want to say uh, we updated this uh, payload um, brian okay so let's say brian and then so now it's updated to brian okay 
so we want body okay so let's see we don't have the query parameter here so we will not use if you have query parameter you can add but if you don't have you can just leave it for now and then what we want and then the header let's see if we have the header for this headers so headers is if you want to give the header you can give or you can you know you can remove up content type application json if you want so you can just copy it from here control c dot control v dot now we got the header what else we want so now we want body so b -O -B -O body in the body we want string okay so like this and what is the body body is like this here this is the body control c control v. so this is our body what else we want um so here since we don't want to use this brian right we want to the, use the name that we are getting from our earlier response so what we will say plus plus and we will use this name okay so So we want a string and then here also we want a string. Ah. Let's see what is this. okay friends yeah so we have to just you know uh the mistake that we were doing let me revert it back and so so this is how it is looking now so what we have to do instead of this brand we have to use the name so it's very easy just put two plus and then inside this you just say name and that's it so now we said okay we want to verify this name we want to update right so for update we have to use uh, you know dot when dot put so our come our uh, request is put and what is the url for that so we have already used that so we can say this one this much resource in the here we can provide resource or we can provide the full url that's fine maybe in the string okay so here if you see this right rest as your base uri is still there so that's why we are saying api user 2 after this dot then now we can validate something okay uh let's see what we can validate is like okay the response that we are getting is 200 okay so let's validate that then dot assert that assert that dot Status code. Status code is 200. Suppose we want to validate this part. That's it. So now let's run it and see whether it is working fine or not. Okay. So everything is passed. We can remove this system dot out dot println. And we can do one thing here instead of uh, here name right let's try to fetch the id also and see something string id is equal to id is equal to name but the thing is here we do in this here we do not have id so uh, let's see if they have any other put also so they don't have any other put so here they are all they are using name only okay so we will use the same name let's this time we will change the name here so instead of brian we will say suppose brack 
drag okay so now we say drag and his job is leader so for the bra uh, brag we want to change we want to update we want to update you know what we want to update we want to update the name so we created the user and we want to update his job instead of john resident we want to update his name to so by default is uh, is this we want to say like this okay now let's run it okay so this time we got the saying json path name does not match you know this from here so it's saying name does not match okay because when we are creating the user let's see what is the id so when we are creating the user that time it's not giving any I will create user oh yes it's giving the id so and in the put do we have the id in the put we don't have the id see here in the put we don't have the id but in there we have the id so and here we do not have the so here we have the id in the put okay in the put they have not designed it like we do not have the id so let's see okay friends so the issue was like this here if you see the name Actually, I did not change it. It was like Brian, and uh, when it you execute, so it was failing, right? So that's what we saw. So actually, if you see right, expected is Brian and actual is Brock. So I just need to change it here. Just R B C. That's it. So now, if you execute, it will pass. Okay. So now this time it is passed. So what it did? It just you know did a post API and it created a new user with the name here whatever we have in the payload Brock and we say job is leader right and then once it is created for that name okay we updated his job okay we updated his job as Geon Resident Three so that was his job was leader but now we changed it to uh, using put we if you see here right we said put okay but we are saying user two here actually we should say whatever id is there so uh, you know when we are creating here create user it generates id so let me see if we can take that id as well here so string string id is equal to just copy this here just copy it here and say like this and here instead of name just say id okay so since we have id here okay now instead of this here we can say plus id now let's execute and see so it says geon resident 3 name is name okay. so this name uh, i think this name is not coming as it is so let me see what's going wrong here just give me a second okay friends so here actually you know this name is not coming from this name right so we have to make some changes here so we have to provide one string here and one string here and then let's see something else so let's... Yeah. now this name is okay now if you execute this Geon resident three so this time it updated the job so previously the job was see leader but now the job is this so let's see 
if you want to see the job here, you can just see the job. Let's see the string job before, you know, before update. So job is equal to So what is the job here? Let's see. Job job. So here let's say job. And here as well as let's system dot out dot print line. Job before update. Before update. Okay. So let's run it one more time. So if you see job before update, okay, so black leader, see, it is leader here actually before update. Okay, we don't have the space, that's why you can give one space maybe to see it more better way. But leader, now you use the put method to update it to the something else like Geon resident or whatever you want, you can update it. Now, so what we did using the post API, we created one user and then using the put API, we updated his job using his name. Okay. Now what else? Maybe we can do one more thing here. We will, you know, using the get command, using the get request, we will see uh, whether, you know, our, uh, like here we, uh, we are doing the system dot out dot print and we want to see it, whether the update is successful or not. Okay. So what we can do, let's see, given dot given parenthesis dot if you want to log oh, sorry if you want to log just you can say log dot all dot uh, so if you see the git request here in the post what do we have any parameters no there is no parameters and there is no body and there is headers you know, you can provide headers maybe. Headers is like, uh, um, let's see if we have any specific header that we need to provide. Or, you know, we cannot, we don't need to provide the header as well. So we don't have anything like to provide here. And then dot given dot log dot when, sorry, dot when. And then what we can say dot get. Now we want to put the get request, okay, get. And then we have to provide the URL. Okay. So what is the URL for get? See here. The get URL is this, right? So this API users, that's it. API users. This is the in here. Okay. Because we already have the you know this uh, base URI already here. So we just need to append this part here to complete the URL. But we need to provide the ID. So ID we can provide here plus ID. Okay. So we want to see, okay, given dot log dot when. So we want to get request. And then what we want to say, uh, when, then. Then you want to say, okay, uh, assert. Suppose you want to assert or you want to log. You can see if you want to log dot all, log dot all dot assert. You can say that assert that. Um, or we can say assert that, yeah, we can say assert that status code. Status code should be 200. What else you want to say? And then maybe if you want to verify something in the body, so dot body. And in the body, you want to verify something. Maybe you want to verify the add job. Okay. So you can say uh, string. We can use uh, this one, maybe string. So you can say, okay, what do you want to verify? I want to verify the job. Okay, that the job is updated. So that's what I want to verify. So let's see here. And here, what job we want to verify. So we want to verify that job should be whatever job we updated here, right? So we have updated the job to this. You can say like this, control C. So whatever job is there, let's verify that. So you can just say like this, like this. That's it. And put a semicolon here. Is there 
body chop the method string in the type validator response okay so here you know it's not the string we can say equal to e q u l equal to say equal to okay EQ, this. Okay. so now let's run it so what we did we did the we created the user then we updated his job and now we are verifying with the get api so we have all the apis three api we have the post put and get so now if you run it okay so here if you see it's failed saying assertion error uh job does not match expected is geon resident but actual is null okay so let's see why it is uh, you know updating why it's failing so if you see the problem is id is six let's see okay so first thing here we have the brack leader we created and then we updated his job to this okay but when we created what is his id um, so let's do one thing because you know maybe it's not getting saved in the server or something because this is just for practice purpose right but we can see it so suppose whatever id we got it here right let's display the id and say that we can see why our so let's see ID. let's run it one more time okay now it's fine so let's see the id first what id is generated so black leader id is 94 okay so if you go here and see whether we have the user or not first let's see the manually so we say 94 now if you send the request it is blank right what is happening when you are doing post you know it's creating the user but actually it's not saving in the server because it's the testing something we are not doing some real time something so it's not getting saved and that's why when you say the get it's don't know the 94 okay so that's the problem here so we are good because we know why it is failing okay because if you see the host right somewhere server or something if you see here in the headers let's see so the server is something cloudflare or whatever so they have just for testing purpose and it's not saved there our post and put it just we in the testing we are seeing okay it's passed but it's not getting saved in the database or somewhere so that's why our is failing but this is how we can do it so yeah friends so that's it in this video let's meet in the next video thank you